There's only three ways, really, to increase your revenue. First step is to increase the number of clients. That's the first way. Second way is to increase the size of transactions. And the third way is to increase the frequency of transactions. So the first step is to maximize what you're already doing. Second step is geometric growth. If you can get a 10% increase in clients from 10 different sources, you have grown your business or your client base by 100%. Step number three is to borrow successes. There are thousands of successful actions that other businesses are doing that you may have never even thought of doing. And when you incorporate the actions of other businesses that are successful that none of your competitors are doing, cause an explosion of inflow of clients. Right away, I would say within a matter of weeks, we noticed, I noticed, an increase in the number of phone calls. We pretty much statisized everything around here, and there was definitely an increase in phone calls. Referrals are great. In fact, we show you a checklist with over 60 items, there might be up to 90 now, of how to actually inspire even more referrals. Hello, so here's your next referral marketing action plan. Today I want to talk about the referral sources that may or may not be your clients, particularly those that are not, but maybe you belong to an association. Now I know many of you belong to LATIP or BNI, Chamber of Commerces and things like that. You do a lot of networking in those groups. But specifically, I believe that there's 10 people that could be actively referring for you and vice versa. I want you to take a look over your membership list and some of the better people that you belong to in BNI, LATIP, the Chamber, etc., whatever group it is. And whether you do business together or not, whether they retain your services or you retain their services is not that important. The important thing is they trust you. Referrals really is about trust. Do they want to send their people to you? Because it reflects on them. Now, if you've got a great relationship already, then really the battle is halfway over. The next step is to take that relationship that you've built, that trust, if you will, and really leverage it to maximize how we get more referrals. So in this action plan, what we're going to have you do is list out 10 people that you may not be doing business with, but you've got a great relationship with. Those that you belong to, associations, clubs, even those you went to college with. And we want you to list those out and call them, email them, connect up with them on social media, and start asking them for referrals. It may start with, hey, what help do you need with your business? And get a dialogue going. However you do it, when you're working with people that you trust, and they trust you, it's a great source of the best referrals that you can get. All right, over to you.